board final time at players championship 19 live from the city west hotel in dublin and we have the world number one in action michael van goen making his return to players championship darts after several months away he has of course been playing on the euro tour he played in the premier league he played dubai the world cup of darts in shanghai and vegas the world match play but in all that time pretty much been ducking out of a few of the players championship events the last time we saw him was way back in april when he managed to win on the saturday for a nine darter en route to that title and then he was beaten the following day by gary anderson in the last 16 anderson going on to win on that sunday in wigan and he's not been back since However, he's won his first two games here on his return to Players' Championship action. And he's up against his best mate, Vincent van der Voort. It's an all-Dutch encounter with the world number one, taking on the former UK Open Thank finalist, you. former Practice Austrian Darts Open Maple champion. For the bullseye. Outside the 25. Maybe the worst dart you see Michael Van going for a ball for this entire week. Bullseye. Vincent to Not a bad one from Vincent van der Voort. And he has the advantage of throwing first in this one. A bump of the fists and away we go. Hold your breath. Hold tight. It's going to be a quick one, this. Could be very high quality as well because Vincent van der Voort in spells has been playing one superb hundred. stuff this year. Is it good enough to overcome the world number one? 60 good enough so far today for Vincent van der Voort to make it through to the board final beat Matt Clark 6-4 and Simon Stevenson 6-5 55 as for Michael van Gerwen he beat Jan Decker 6-2 and Dean Ford 6-3 we already know who the winner of this one will face it is Kyle Anderson he has won his board beating Kim Hybrex in the board final 6-4 playing some very very good stuff at the minute Kyle Anderson Provide a stern examination for whoever comes through this one. Michael Van Gerwen may be finding his feet after two troubleless visits. Fires in the first maximum. One hundred. One hundred and nineteen. That's what MVG can do. You think he's given you a head start 18. by kicking off 60 and 58, and then in the blink of an eye, he's already down to a two darter. 14 and bull. Bullseye wants. 59. He's getting closer to the bullseye. 60. 61. 61. Well, there's the six, and there's a 20. 40 left, Vincent. Game shot. Here we go. 1-0 to Vincent van der Voort to the world number one trails. 139. Michael van Gerwen only seeded number two here today. 97. Partially that is down to the fact that he hasn't been playing as many tournaments as the number one seed. Peter Snake by Wright, although Wright has of course won ten titles this year. Phenomenal achievement. Very, very select number of players who managed to do that. MVG, he's won 12, and it's pretty much half the tournaments he's entered, including 100. most of the big ones, the World Championship, Premier League. Did not win the match play, though. Did not win the 60. Champions League of Darts. Still yet to add that to his CV. Did not even get out to the group stage. First time we've seen Michael Van Gerwen not make it past the opening round of a tournament since he became the all-conquering world number one MVG. Phil Taylor proving his undoing in Blackpool 90. and in Cardiff in the match play in the Champions League. And there is some seriously bad blood between them as a result of some of the things 99. that have been said, largely on Taylor's behalf, I would have to say. In a spot of bother here, MVG. Vincent van der Voort took out 66 for the opening leg. 
looking to take out 80 for a break. We'll shuffle to the left for Big Vincent. And firing it in the actual 10 number rather than the bet. MVG, gonna have to ask him twice. Okay. Takes advantage, 56 checkout, gets away with that one, the world number one. He is not motoring just yet. A very literal pulling up of the socks for the world number one at the back there. 100. Vincent does have career victories over Michael Van Gerwen, but not lately. Not since he became who he is. In fact, it has been years since Vincent recorded a victory over MBG. We've got to go back to 2012. 140. When he beat him in a UK Open qualifier in 2012, that made their record three and three. Three wins each from their six. As Vincent misses the 13 that he was after. And again, MVG misses the bullseye. So Vincent van der Voort to edge back into the lead. Game. And there it is, 2-1 to Vincent. Michael van Gerwen not having things all his own way here. Yeah, three wins each it was back in 2012 when Vincent last beat Michael to make it three apiece. Since then... He has lost 12 on the spin to MVG, including three this year, 6-2, 6-3, and most recently 6-0 on the European Tour. Been some high-profile ones. They met the Players' Championship finals for the last two years. 6-1 win and a 10-6 win for Michael Van Gerwen. Largely, they have been hiding. Six. But then again, MVG has been dishing those out to everybody in the world of darts. You don't get a free pass just because you were best man at his wedding. Unfortunately for Vincent. 100. And he's got the lead here. Van Gerwen is not firing on all cylinders. 56. MVG have the answer. Double top. Game. He does have the answer and he does hold. We've had four consecutive holds here, but Michael Van Gerwen, well, it is not the level of performance we would expect from MVG. Missed last weekend on the European Tour. He does turn up to the vast majority of the European Tour events because he sees that £25,000 first prize as basically his money. Don't like anybody else taking it off it. He's won 19 of those Euro Tour titles. Put that in perspective, that is more than three times as many as Peter well, Wright in his career, and Peter Wright is next on the all-time list. Six. 96. But he took last weekend off because he had a baby shower for his new daughter. But even when he took off the month of August, to play the World Series, he came back and won the next two events and won them convincingly. 133. And he's making his move now, Michael Van Gerwen, looking for the break of throw that will put him into the lead for the first time. 
to check out. One. Check out the winning the Premier League title for the first time. Trouble 19. Uh, ooh, dear Michael. 88. So, Vincent, for a fifth consecutive hole. Okay, it's there. And Vincent van der Voort is halfway to his first victory over his best mate in darts for five years. But that is a second maximum for Michael van Gerwen. It doesn't matter how close you get to victory with MVG. You're always in danger. There is no scoreline that is safe. Just deflected into the trouble one. We've already seen Keegan Brown go six, six darts into the perfect nine darter on this streaming board today. Will anybody go further than that? Well, this man is certainly a candidate for it. 140. And it's 58 after nine. Vincent way, way back. Ready to fill it up. 125. Casually chucks in a 60 there, Vincent. As he already knows that this leg may well have gone. Game. Has gone. <coughs> 12 dart response from a world number one. One hundred. Remember Michael Van Gerwen on his return to action on the European tour. 58. Had a game a bit like this with Daryl Gurney, the world number 12. Gurney had the advantage of throwing first. They played out 10 consecutive holds of throw. 45. And in the last leg, Gurney had thrown 12 darts. He was left on a double. Never got a go at it because MVG went out in 12 darts and nicked it 6-5. It could well be that we're heading for something similar here. 100. 104. He hasn't really got the motor running at full speed as yet, Michael Van Gerwen, but you feel that he may be just warming up in this game. Vincent doing his best to hold him off. Well, that helps Vincent van der Voort out massively. 116. Single 16. Double top. 96. No troubles in that last visit for Van Gerwen means he's got to have a flawless visit here if he is going to steal this leg, but he could do. He could do. Double 13. 133. And you can see, even though he's playing his best mate, he just wants to win. He wants to win everything, Michael Van Gerwen. Still got that hunger, okay. multi-millionaire, but still has that hunger and desire to win. But that is not enough right now against Vincent van der Voort. He's pinned double ten. He's only two legs away. But that is a 177 for Michael van Gerwen. It's 43. And he follows it up. 174. With a 174, and Michael Van Gerwen has left 150. Six perfect darts for MVG here at the City West Hotel when he became the major winning champion that he is today. He's not going to take out the 150. And he has just roared back with another strong leg on throw. But he needs one against the Vincent van der Voort throw, and he needs to take his chance as well. And they've all nowhere in this lane. Double 12. 68. 104. Back in with a shout if MVG messes up. Okay. MVG does not mess up. Eight legs now. We have rattled through eight consecutive holes. Vincent van der Voort knows if that pattern continues, he will beat the world number one. And this half of the draw will be blown wide open. Kyle Anderson, Australia's number two, is the man who awaits his 18th seed.
today. He is in the last 16 already, having seen off Belgium's top player, Kim Hybrex, in his board fight. is the chance that MVG has been waiting for. 100. A very real opportunity to break the Vandervoort throw. Fifty-nine. And this is the problem. You can play solidly all the way through a game, but you have one leg off, and Michael Van Gerwen will be there to pounce. Bullseye. 120. He's not having much joy in the bullseye, it has to be said, Michael Van Gerwen. However, he's left himself 87. 140. Vincent van der Voort has a chance if this doesn't go. He's not been hitting the ball. 62. That's as close as he's got. Well, if Vincent van der Voort takes this out, it's a huge steal. Trouble 19 for the ball. Oh, Vincent van der Voort misses the bullseye. Had it gone in, maybe, maybe it was just written in the stars that he was finally going to beat Michael van Gerwen for the first time in five years. But MVG does clear up the 25. Double eight is the dart that does it. He has the break of throw he needs. And he is throwing for a place in the last 16 and a showdown with Kyle Anderson. 58. He's been holding him off, Vincent van der Voort. Holding him off and holding him off and holding him off. But... Eventually, a little chink was found in his armour, and MVG exploited it. One weak leg, and even then, Van der Voort had that dart at the bullseye. Maybe, maybe it's not quite over yet. Sixty. Lining him up above the treble bed, no good to Vincent Van der Voort. Not in this situation. 93. 180. A maximum for Vincent, he celebrates it. And there was a touch of an ironic celebration. It is his first one in this match. 97. But this might have changed the game because he's stolen the darts, Vincent van der Voort. And MVG is in trouble now. It looked like he'd waited for his moment, pounced, and had van der Voort on the ropes. But if van der Voort can take out the 81, he'll be throwing for the match in the last leg decider. Has to be 12s. Now it's the ball. And again, Vincent van der Voort misses the bullseye. He missed it in the last leg. He's missed it in this leg. And Michael van Gerwen, 20 for tops. Oh, he's missed the big number. How often do you see Michael van Gerwen do that? A lazy dart from the world number one. And it may cost him the game. Well, there is a lot of Dutch muttering going on here at Players' Championship 19. Lazy stuff. No killer instinct from these two guys. And it goes on. More match darts missed by Michael van Gerwen. A curious 10th leg here. And we get an 11th one. Two match darts missed by Michael Van Gerwen. He should have had more, though. He missed the big number and didn't get one in the previous visit. Darts that you rarely see from the world number one. one and Vincent van der Voort has kicked off 180. It's only his second maximum of the game, and he's chucked it in. Opening visit, deciding leg. This might actually be happening. 
after losing 6-0 to MVG on the Euro Tour earlier this year. 6-3 and 6-2 in their two other meetings in 2017. Vincent van der Voort has survived a couple of match darts, survived some lazy stuff from Michael van Gogh. And when does he miss a big number when he's about to get a match dart? He's filed in a third 180. It might not be enough. It really might not be enough. 100. Oh, Vincent, it's three 180s in the last two legs for Vincent van der Voort. And he's going to get two match darts for his first win against 100. world number one Michael van Gerwen for more than five years. Since the 6th of May 2012, MVG has had the beating of his best mate Vincent van der Voort. Okay. But Vincent van der Voort, it is payback time. The world well, number one is happen. out and it blows apart the half of the draw where Vincent van der Voort has just batted his way through to the last 16. He will face Carl Anderson. He needed a bit of luck, but he has taken out Michael van Gerwen. 